Today we continue with lesson 16 of our time leave Spring Boot uh, tutorials and today we are going to see how we can receive data in the HTML page. In tutorial 15 we see how we can put data in the model and we explain that this data put in the model as attribute of the model will be transferred to the view. So now we are on the HTML page, how do we receive this data? For now, if we visit our HTML page, uh, most likely it's going to be an empty page. So this is it. So we have list of students, uh, this is it, this page, there is nothing there. So basically, <coughs> you use the Spring Boot uh, expression, so the time leave expression to extract data from the model. And the time leave expression is, is, is uh, very easy to understand. It's simply th, each, sorry, th, it's a, a th uh, colon and a number of things. We have test. We can have each. We can have uh, a URL and a, a, a whole lot of things that can be included. Today we are going to be using th test. So what I'm going to, uh, to do, let me copy and paste this code. It's simply a table. And I explain to you what it does. So I'm going to paste it here. So basically this table you have here, it says, the, the first row is the header row. We have the ID, name, department, updated by, updated on. So, the next row, which now will contain the ITRAB, uh, list of items, we have the first, the, in the TR, which is the, the TR, we have THH, meaning that TH for each student in dollar open and close braces. So, dollar open and close braces is the syntax you use to extract data from the model. So it's expected that what you have here is available in the model. So we have student list, we call students in the model. Remember, we have, we place this in the model, this line of code. So this is the student. What you have here is the name of the attributes that uh, time lead is going to look for when you specify TH. So, if you extract each of the students, you have to display the ID, the name, the department, updated by, updated on. So, THH simply means for each of the students, display all these items right here. Later, we are going to see another symbol. Instead of dollar sign, we can use the add symbol to display a link. We'll talk about that a little later. I'm going to run this code, and then we visit the page to see what we have. So for me, I'll, I'd like to uh, recommend, don't copy and paste, try to type it out yourself, because uh, the principle of programming is the more you do it, the more it becomes clearer to you. So take some time to type it out yourself, and that you'll you get used to it, you, to it in time. So now I think the program is running. So let's go to refresh this page. So, so let's go to student list. I'm going to refresh the page. Let's see. So you can see that the student list displays uh, perfectly. So this list has been transferred from the model. Whatever you put in the model will be displayed here. But we are not done yet. We need to now move on to tutorial 17. Let's continue because we still have something, some things to do because we need to add a date, delete, and add new, and stuff like that. I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you have challenges, let me know. And also feel free to subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed to my channel. And we continue in the next class.